welcome back to East Shade, where we return to the purple trees and a beautiful sunset or sunrise. I guess it's more of a sunset, probably. <sighs> Looks interesting. Yeah, last time we've been here, we found some mirrors. I guess the riddle reset after I saved. Question is, what do I do here? A pressure plate? Okay. Um, there was a mirror over here. Oh yeah, right. Maybe I have to move it. So... Whoops. Um, so I can... Push the sunlight. In here okay why are you guiding it upwards um let's see whoops um, let's try to hit the am i hitting it i'm not sure maybe i have to turn it can i turn it um apparently not okay so i have to try it from a different angle let's see there we go. I have no idea what this does, though. Oh, okay, don't get in the way of the light, and... What? You finally arrived. Would you like some tea, or maybe some pie? Uh, hello, Mrs. Mudwillow. Don't be shy now. Uh, who are you? Yes, please. <laughs> in introduction, please. My name is known to all as Mudwillow. My passion is sight and all that it shows. Weaver of light and doctor of eyes. I hold the gift reserved for the wise. Uh, she was rhyming, wasn't she? Why do you need someone wise? Why do you live underground? <laughs> uh, why do you need someone wise? Uh. With me lies the gift which everyone seeks. So far you've all been liars and sneaks. No. Sought out by foe and drunkards unfit. Not one of you has held nearly enough wit. They all bumble in, dreaming of crimes. Every day they show up. It's a waste of my time. But the strings of light you folded and bent prove you've got brains to some extent. Thank you. It seems you may just be clever enough. Although I bet your brain is packed full of fluff. Aww. Listen up, painter, for this is your task. Prepare your brushes and hear what I ask. Itself in a constant state of falling, to you it seems that it's always stalling. A stony side where the star hides away, a watchful eye at the peak of midday. When day turns dark, but a moment in time, when a star goes black, though everything's fine. The largest of eyes that stare back at you, a sight that aligns. That's the moment I choose. Um. Okay. For a moment, it sounded like she wanted to have a painting of the, um, of the red moon. A lot of mirrors. This is an awfully unfit way to enter. Also landing on a chair is not really comfortable, especially one without any pillows or anything like that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, beautiful, we got another paint request. She's got a lot of potatoes down here. And a crystal? I'm not going to take that. She needs that to write write down her riddles, I guess. Can I go in there? No. So there are a few more mirrors. Uh, can I pick that up? Nope. I cannot start guiding light around, I guess. Okay, she wants some painting. Probably yearns for the moon. Living down here is not very... Interesting. 
I hope she didn't carve out this cave on her own. I was planning on searching for a cave today. I didn't plan on finding this one. Oh, well, there's a better entrance. Probably wouldn't have been able to enter. Mud Willow's door, huh? An eye. And I got inspiration from it. More eyes. The ever seeing? Yet never really clear explaining. Hooray! We've got some board. And there's a house. Uh, snowy peaks. Okay. It's amazing what kind of contraption she created. Good. One more stick. I have enough for a campfire. So I could, in theory, wait the entire night outside. Uh, oh, eggs. I'm going to steal a few more bird eggs. Don't know what I will need them for, but with every other thing that I've collected so far, it's been the same. At some point you will need them. <laughs> Where am I? There's the water. Can go downhill. Um, that's where those two bears are trying to sell some medicine. Um, can I pick that up? No, it's just a rock. Okay. I should stay on the path. So in order to stumble over a few things might be able to get them. I'm not making any sense to myself right now. Isn't that the big water tree? I guess so. I didn't stray too far away from there. Um, the... Nava, okay. Somewhere on this way should be the ape that fixed his fence. And someone's very cheerful over there. Wait, that is the guy. And that must be his wife? Hello, greetings. Okay, she's busy. And he's happy. Oh wait, that's that's not him, that's his child playing. Three children and one. That's not chess. Are they playing? Okay. Well, he definitely did fix it. Hello. Ahoy there, traveler. <laughs> Alas, those carrot chompers are still at it. What? Seems the mice are trapped inside my new fence. Odd though, they never leave so much as a stem behind. Hungry little creatures, aren't they? Are you sure that those are actually mice. What about my reward? Anything I can do to help? Why don't you stop by K and K Apothecary? Kai and Kaylin should have some repellent that'll send any critters bolting. They live west of here, along the riverbank on the south side of the Blush Woods. <sighs> See you soon. I was there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do that, and they're not that far off. Oops, that's crouching, not running. I like the butterflies, they look beautiful. Okay. So I've seen them already. I should have went to see him first. Stick. More stick. Interesting that the stone path leads into a gravel path. Just all of a sudden, just gravel. Have fun. <laughs> okay. Um, that's Mud Willow. This contraption. Um, where were they? Rolling down the hill. Whoop. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Wait, there they are. Found you guys. I've got a potential customer, just as you asked. To stop taking Finn's crops. 
Oh. It's not like I enjoy it either, but what choice do we have? We haven't made a single sale in weeks. How is that even possible? It's just... Oh, that poor sweet man. He blames the vermin as it is. We're not doing him any actual harm. Um... We can't steal his crops forever. At some point, he's going to realize. That gullible old fool. He wouldn't believe we were stealing from him if we walked up and took the shoes right off his feet. Um... I can't believe you, Kai. We need to figure out a better way. <sighs> Greetings! Oh, this is so unlike us. We never wanted to steal from Finn, you know. I would have done anything else if I could. I... I'm horrified by what we've done to such a sweet old man. Oh, so they realized I was standing outside, huh? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't realize anyone was there. Uh, what do you want? <sighs> so you're stealing from Finn. Finn needs some vermin repellent. <laughs> By repellent, not explaining why. <laughs> uh, yes, indeed. You'll be needing the strongest repellent available to rid your garden of those pests. Mm-hmm, like a bear trap? For Finn's garden, you say? Oh, just, uh, don't expect this to work right away. Why not? It, uh, has more of a simmering effect, like a strong mulled wine. The longer you leave the repellent on, the more powerful it'll be. Uh-huh. Oh, you're back. What are you looking for today? Is there still the other option? I've overheard something about glowstone troubles. You heard us! Oh, for crimity. This no crimity. one's buying herbs like they used to. You understand? I'm not sure I do. You'd best not tell anyone about this. It would kill Finn to hear anything bad about his neighbors, you hear. I don't mean it sounds so sinister, you know. It's just... <sighs> Times have been hard since Kaelin's father stopped supporting us. We thought we could make it on our own, but uh, well, truth is, no one seems to have much use for an apothecary. <laughs> Not out in these parts, anyway. Huh, I don't right know where everyone's getting their goods. Maybe it's time we moved on from East Shade and found ourselves a place where we can make a proper living. Actually, there may be something you could help us with. One last try to make it here before we call it quits. Will you help us? Um, what's my part? <laughs> no way, you were terrible to Finn. Uh, okay. You'll help us. Oh, this will mean so much to Kaylin. Oh yeah, that's the bear lady. I can lend you some glowstone. What do I need to do? I'm going to ask. I'm not going to just shove uh, money into your... Have you met Annika? Pause. I'm willing to bet she'd help out. But Galen's always saying Annika has a generous soul, um, even if she isn't all there upstairs. She lives in the southwest of the Great Shade. Why her? Why not ask Finn? Okay, so how much do you need? Somehow, people around here came to knowing she has more glowstones than many of the rest of us. I'm guessing she doesn't spend too much. Too preoccupied with uh, other things. Just... <sighs> See if you can borrow six hundred glowstones. That's steep. I'm not proud of it, you know. We've been down on our luck a while. Ah, uh, anyhow, if she needs convincing, just tell her it's anyone besides us asking. Go, give it your best. Are you crazy? 600 glowstones. I don't remember how high the toll was for the bridge, but seriously, 600 is a lot. We really worked our way into a predicament. Even if we left Eastshade, who's to say it would turn out better for us elsewhere? Hmm. Yeah, she's reasonable. How about this? Just because you leave your, pro your problems behind doesn't mean that they don't reappear in a different place. Especially if you try to start the same thing in a different place. Uh, 
You guys are nuts! 600 glowstones! <sighs> wow! How late is it? The leaves are falling. Is it already fall? Eggs! Yoink! Yoink! I better head to the inn before it gets night time. Oh, this looks so nice. Okay. Oh, uh, whoops. I'm stuck on a tree. Stuck on a tree. Stuck on a tree. More eggs. This stuff. Oh, yeah, right. The tourists. I hope I can go through this water. Oop. Okay, there's none. Good. It is getting dark. Ho, 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 ho. Run, my friend. It is getting dark. I'm going to help you with the foxes. With the water fox. Don't worry. I'm in this area anyway, so... Ah, don't get stuck, please. Come on, it's going to get cold soon. Let me in. Oh, I didn't realize there was some... Canvas material. Sorry, uh, I'm going to need that. My great-great-grandparents <laughs> built this lodge. It's held up pretty well, I'd say. With any luck, it'll stay up for many more generations. If you take good care of it. I'll take it home. Alright then. It's just up the stairs, second door on the right. Thank you. Second door. Right next to the map lady. I wonder if I can keep sleeping here. Or if I'm just renting this place for one night. I'm not sure. Well, it's a different room for a change. So I wonder if I get sent back here if I pass out the next time. I guess I did make it just in time before night went. It's interesting that it, the moon looks so purple. In this picture. Okay. Let's make it 6... 16, yeah. 616. It definitely will be warm enough already at this time. Some inhabitants have more to say about topics. Oh yeah, right. Hey, I can I can go onto the bed. I like I like the pillows. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. I don't know if there are any achievements. Um, I think there are, but I don't think that jumping on a bed actually gives you an achievement. <laughs> there are some games that actually do that. Ah. There goes a few birds. Beautiful. Okay. My great great. Okay. Have a nice day. I like the bed. Okay, so... Um, let's see if I can find the water foxes. So, this guy told me to walk down this path and I'm going to try that. Uh, if I can't find them, I actually opened um, a, a little discussion thread on Steam that describes where the fox the entrance to the water fox is just hope I don't get too lost so okay back turn to the big tree I, I, I'm going to need this cause I haven't been able to find it last time and I don't want to spend the entire uh, video searching for it again so let's see turn to the big tree facing the path towards the inn this should be the path um, on the hill, left hugging, go left hugging the cliff. Okay, hugging the cliff. I am hugging the cliff. You should start close by the park ranger. Hope that helps. Quite soon you will see a path leading do downwards into a cave. Um, keep hugging the cliff. I'm just going to run in circles. If I keep hugging the cliff. <laughs> right? Um, 
Is this still considered a cliff? Hmm. Whoop. Hmm. Not really. Uh, I just hope I don't clip out of bounds again. Um, okay. I guess I'll have to use the other... The other one. Uh, um, let's see. It's not very self-explanatory. Uh, let's see. So, the other description is how to find the Water Fox Cave from the park ranger. Follow the main road towards the great tree and stop before the little stone bridge. Yep, that's a stone bridge. Turn right and head straight towards the cliffs. Turn right, head straight towards the cliffs. To do so you have to leave the road. Follow the line of a fallen tree in the grass, then you will get on a path. Follow the path towards the cliffs. Mushroom. Uh, I will find a path. Hopefully. You'll see a stone arc. Stone arc? Well, there's a lot of water. It's not... Where was the path? Um, let's see. I have been here and I, I remember this place. I know that I'm straying from the description already. Um, I was hoping to see a path. Good. Let's just keep heading towards this place. I think there was a path here. Was it not? Yep, there's a path. Follow the path. You will see an arc. Well, the... That's not the arc. Hmm. Enjoy your walk while you go there. Follow the path. I'm getting lost already. <laughs> Again. Uh, is this a path? I don't know. You will see an arc. That's an arc. What do they mean by that? I remember that I've been running around here in this area already. Hmm. Yeah, now I'm at the beach. <sighs> Can't even follow instructions, apparently. Well... Let's... See, so this is the water wheel. So I guess in th theory you should be able to follow the path the ranger tells you and stay close to the left side of the cliff and then you'll find your way there. That's what I got. <laughs> this is overgrown. Um. Wait, this is the way that leads back up to the inn. <sighs> Where are we? So... I'm <laughs> really too stupid for that. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay. We're back at the inn. So let's try this one again. They said the second one would be easier. So there's the tree. Run parallel to the tree. Then you'll. Oh, inky mushrooms. 
you get to a pass. This is the pass. Then you'll see an oh archway. Okay. <sighs> okay. Huh. So the other description was keep hugging the the stone wall of this cliff until you run completely around it so you'll stumble into it and the other one is like yeah there's a shortcut okay what a fox then it shouldn't be that hard to find don't run away please don't run away um i remember them liking eggs so Let's place an egg in there and hope the little water fox. Oh, they're hungry. Yay! Oh, she's whining. I'm sorry. Don't worry. You managed to trap him. I heard the shrieks all the way above ground. Hi. I need to administer the sound. I don't sound happy. Well, I guess I should thank you. I'm afraid to give up on this damned water fox. Listen, it's pretty clear that you're a nature lover. I don't know how you managed to catch that animal, but I do appreciate it. Eggs. Let me show you how to make a snug tent. Should be useful for someone like you. Roaming the country and all. It will give you a place to relax if you need to kill time, and shelter if you find night sneaking up on you. Oh, hey. A tent schematic. The little one ran away. Didn't even... Got a chance of taking a good look at them. Oh, don't don't run away, please. Bathing in the light. No, no. I'm sorry. The ranger didn't even ask what it was that I used in order to bathe him. So that's a water fox. I can't ugh, go any closer, or they'll, or they'll run away again. Okay. Well, the cave wasn't that hard to to find, actually, once you know where to look. I'm surprised. That, well, I was searching in the wrong place, I guess. Just down the road. Well. He forgot to mention which road. <laughs> hey, friend. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Admission to Nava. Yes, yes, yes. Sure, I can vouch for you. You really got me out of a pinch there with that water fox. Yes! Thank you. I completed my goal. I have gotten the last letter to Nava from the Water Fox quest. Yes! <laughs> um, wait. Let's see. I want to see how to make a tent. I'll need a few sticks, twine, all the twine I have, and fabric. There's nothing like a solid roof and feather bed, but a tent is a safe refuge nonetheless. It's as good to have to have if you need to wait around. This must be placed on solid flat ground. Okay. Still have no idea how to meet sealant. Or where to buy it. That's okay. Oh, you're right, Anika. She wanted the owl picture and I denied it. Cause I like it too much. I doubt that she'll give the bear 600 glowstones. Maybe in exchange for the owl. I don't know. Just, just hope I don't have to. Knock knock. Hello. Broke a pot this morning. You know what? I don't even mind. Today's just my day. Okay. I could use your help. Of course. It wouldn't be a bird identification issue by any chance. No, sorry. No, uh, can you lend someone glowstones? Darn, I love a good bird ID. Well, tell me what you need in glowstones for. 
I'm helping a friend. Well, they're not more um not really friend. You need me to give you glowstone so you can help a friend. And tell me, what's the name of this friend? They ask me not to tell. I'm right, going to be honest. And where on the island might I find this person? Oh, she's going there. Near Blush... Oh, it's called... Oh, Blushwood because it's pink. A little north. Somewhere. Not sure. <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot help you help your friend. Okay. Why? Financial troubles north of here. No doubt you've been spending time with Kai and Kaylin. <laughs> she knows. <sighs> what if I am? Kaylin's a sweetheart, but that Kai, a weasel if I ever heard of one. What did he do? But you're new to East Shade. Lots of people didn't like back when Kai was overcharging for potions. Not that it bothered me so much, but he sure upset a lot of other people. Yeah. Why is he a weasel then? <laughs> he steals from owls, of course. The most magnificent of all creatures. You see, owls love rubbing their beaks against the soft part of the black thistle. It comforts them. And Kai simply waltzed into the great shade and snatched black thistle. An endangered plant, I'll have you know, and stuck it into some potion to sell. Kai is no friend to owls. Who would do something so terrible? Also endanger the flowers. So he's the reason why there are all the all these uh, signs around the t uh, around this place. Maybe it was a misunderstanding. Can't you forgive him? Mm, the way she sounds is a uh, no. It was no misunderstanding. If anyone ought to know better, it'd be Kai. He deals with plants all day, after all. Oh yeah, right. And whatever you do, don't pick the black thistle. I accidentally picked one. Oh, no. I'm sorry. What? You painted that owl. <laughs> Can I buy it from you? Oh, she still wants to buy it. Oh. <laughs> okay, deal. Only if you hang it in your house, okay? Only if you hang it in your house. I want to see the owl. Yeah. Is this too many glowstones? I wouldn't know. I've never bought a painting before. Please hang it to your house. You've got a real ear for birds. Please. Let me know if you ever need anything. Please. Glad you like it. Bye now. Yes! Yes, she, she hanged... <sighs> At least something. Now it's framed on the wall. The masterpiece it is. Okay, <laughs> at least something. I might not be able to carry it around and look at it anymore. But at least... At least that's okay. Ooh, ooh, thanks for the painting. Well, she's happy now. I don't need any... Ooh, ooh, thanks for the painting. Bye now. Well, at least she... she <sighs> well, she's happy. Well, I'm going to go back to the bears now. Don't pick the thistle. The black thistle. Do not pick, pluck or pull. So all the owls in East Shade are going nuts over those thistles? Is that what I'm getting? Um, what was the quickest way to Kai? Well, he was shady already and he definitely had no problems um, stealing from from the old man Annika was right about that Moss, I can cross over Oh hey, the water fox babies So now that I've helped their mother I'm able to see them? <laughs> Greetings, little one. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. 
So they are around now. That's great. Um, oh yeah, right. One of the paintings I have to do, I, ha I have to create is this big tree. I don't know how much I need to see Whoops. of the big tree. Let's, let's try to find a little bit higher place. Whoop. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, please let me climb this. Okay. Not too steep. Ooh. Okay. Whoops, don't fall down, please. This should be a good spot. I don't want to climb all the way up there. Hmm, that should be a very good spot. Okay. P for paint. I need to create one more. Is it for the owl or for, for fulfilling? Mother's request. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Mother's memorial paintings. You've painted one of Mother's most beloved places. To keep it safe, preserve her memory in the painting menu. It is a burning red around. Um, let's see. Let's see. How do I preserve? How do I preserve? Mother's last wishes. Um, second chances. Mud Willow's riddle. The little mice. Um. How? No, 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 no. No, I don't want to paint over it. I don't want to. What is that? Oh, that's a map. Um. Select a canvas to paint on. How do I? Which painting will be? Oh, that one. Oh, oh my gosh, that really filled up my inspiration. Um, okay, so... That looks in very interesting. Okay, so... Oops. So the symbols on the side give me a little hint of what to paint. So this one... Yes, I did. Okay. Ah, okay. So if I want to look at it, I'm actually taking it out of the stored place. So I need to draw a windmill, some mountains, and I guess that's a Nava. Okay. Should I keep completing yeah, well, I've already started the a bear mice quest. <laughs> so I'm going to go there right now. Can I ca collect them? No. I was too close. Good. I'm going to go there and try finish completing that one. And if there's still some time left, I'm going to enter Nava and maybe end the episode there. I'm not sure. Hello! I don't know how long this quest is. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making the right decisions. Hello! I'm... I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling like myself at the moment. I mean, what kind of people are we? What have we become? Kaylin is having an um, existential crisis. You just need to fix your mistake. Pretty awful people. I spoke with Annika. Oh, what a lovely woman. Don't listen to what my husband says about her. I haven't made it to Southland in some time. How is Annika doing? Kai may have used an endangered plant. One of Kai's potions? Oh, he better not have. He did. No, he wouldn't. For good grief, those days are long behind him. I'm... I'm sorry. Just, you're right. 
We made our beds, full of lice and thorns, I suppose. And now to sleep in them. We'll need to make this up to Finn somehow. Oh, what a lovely woman. Don't be glad to hear it. And does she seem in need of any tinctures or potions? Didn't say anything about that. Sorry, this is not the time. Uh, was she able to offer us anything? Sorry, no. Okay, so that leads back around. Hello, weasel bear, bear weasel. You spoke to Annika already? What did she say? <laughs> Not a chance, Lance. <laughs> you used an endangered plant, question mark. You overcharged people. Both of them are correct. How did you know? You told her it was me asking? Nope. She figured it out. Anyway, that was years ago. It wasn't overcharging, exactly. I was young, you know. It was long before I was even with Kaylin. I might not have always been a model citizen, but Kaylin right straightened me out. Why are you stuttering all of a sudden? <sighs> you know, someone once told me a story about a woman who couldn't feed her family. She took to stealing scraps, gets caught, and goes to jail. Tell me, how's that right? Can't feed her family. What's she supposed to do? But this can't be about overcharging. We had plenty of customers long after those days. Annika isn't holding my past against me, is she? We charge a fair price. Uh, or we would if anyone ever set foot in here. <laughs> Well, it's more about the endangered plants. But what do you mean, endangered plant? Oh, is that why people stopped coming around? But w why would anyone believe I used something that's protected? I mean, I like plants as much as the next shade folk, but I'd never touch a protected plant, I swear! Um... She never said the name exactly. How do we know that it's called Hydra Thistle? What? My Hydra Thistle? Huh. Well, now that I think about it, I guess I could see why people got that idea, but oh, criminy! Why didn't anyone just ask me about it? This is why we've been broke all these years! <laughs> didn't you say endangered plant? No, of course not. Far too risky to use those protected bits of foliage. That's a game I don't mess around with. Look, you haven't seen the best of us, but we've got a lot to offer if we just had a chance. Can you help us? How? Here's my Hydra Thistle. Find someone to test it, like a scientist. Help me prove I didn't use any protected plants. Nava will certainly have someone who can figure that out. Check the offices on the third floor of the Common Quarter. Oh. Please hurry. We can't survive much longer without any customers. So it's about bad marketing? Simply by calling it Hydra Thistle, you've managed to ruin yourself because everyone thought they used. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling like myself <sighs> at the moment. Oh, what a lovely woman. Glad. Sorry. This is not the time. Uh, was okay. she able to offer us anything? Yeah, she offered me advi advice. And she didn't even make the connection that by calling something a Hydra Thistle... Thistle? Black. Thistle? is Chadian, do not pick back on Paul. That he might ruin his business with that. Okay. Um, I went into the wrong direction, did I? <laughs> what are those? Whoop, whoop. Well, I'm picking, plucking, and pulling stuff like crazy. But no hydro. <laughs> but no black thistle. I only got one, and that was an accident. <laughs> ah. Just hope I can get rid of it somewhere. Come on. Come on, I know I can lock it. 
Okay. Uh, there was the owl. So I should be headed to to Nava right now. Uh, let's see. Where are we? Where are we? <laughs> well, Mother Bear is waiting. I have the letters. I think I only needed three. There's pathway. So scientists will prove his innocence or prove him guilty. <sighs> Hello. Do you have your references in order? Of course, Eve. Hmm, yes, it appears everything is in order. Go right ahead then. And yes. Welcome to Nava. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I am free to walk a bridge that doesn't have any railings and could potentially lead to someone falling down, but we will ignore that in order to enjoy the view. I have to paint this. And I don't have any canvases left. I hope I'll find a shop that sells them. Or more wooden planks. This looks nice. This is the main city, after all. The main building is surrounded by owls and deers and monkeys and... There are bears! They probably are on another side. So much green and... Oh my god, I'm going to get lost. This is definitely calling for another episode. This is definitely calling for another episode. Wow! <laughs> uh, well... I guess... That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And we're going to run around and get lost in Nava the very next time. Because <laughs> this is a huge city and I want to see every nook and cranny of it. Ah, th that's great! I, I already like it. It's very welcoming. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, see you next time. <laughs> Have a good day or night. Bye!